working as a researcher of Korean National Police University. And uh, I have the same female name of uh, uh, the leader of North Korea, but <laughs> I'm not uh, Today, uh, I'm going to introduce Korea's integrated uh, support system for victims of sexual violence, uh, named in Sunflower Center uh, for about 15 minutes. Here you can see um, today's presentation order. First, I'm going to talk about the background of uh, integrated support system for sexual violence victims. And then, I'll explain uh, I'll explain the operation of the Sunflower Center. After that, I will discuss about the uh, challenges uh, to improve for the uh, support. So, uh, I will begin, by, uh, begin my presentation by outlining the background of the uh, integration support uh, for victims of sexual violence. In Korea, the movement against sexual violence had uh, uh, brought an increased attention to the issues of sexual violence over the last 20 years. In 1994, the government passed the Act on the Punishment of Sexual Crimes and Protection of Victims, and later on amended the, the Act to protect and expand uh, legal rights uh, for victims of sexual violence. Nevertheless, because of the influence of male-centered uh, conservative culture, victims of sexual violence themselves were often blamed for their behavior. <coughs> sexual assault or rape victims also face uh, secondary victimization caused by behaviors or attitudes of law enforcement officers. Those who were usually insensitive uh, and uh, victim blaming, uh, which resulted in additional trauma of victims. Especially in 2003, <coughs> an incident on sexual violence uh, was reported widely in media. At the time, a four-year-old four girl was raped, and uh, her mother and the girl had to visit several hospitals and police stations for three days uh, for the treatments and investigations. This incident uh, raised public awareness about the need for a victim family system to sexual assault cases. Although victims of sexual violence need special care, there has been a lack of proper procedures such as, uh, such as evidence collection, diagnosis, and treatment. In particular, vulnerable victims such as children and uh, intellectually disabled uh, have difficulty in describing their damages and uh, finding support services. As a result, they have not been uh, able to receive medical care and uh, the offenders have not been punished properly. In order to solve these problems, it was necessary uh, to develop a system that focused on the needs of victims. In response uh, to growing, growing demand for a new type of uh, victim service system, in 2004, uh, Sunflower Center was established in order to help victims of sexual violence. The purpose of the new system is to provide uh, sexual violence victims with all necessary services in one place. <coughs> 37 centers are now operated across the nation, and uh, there are three, uh, three types of centers, as you can see. Uh, and uh, uh, at, the, at the left side, left, left side, the first one. All, re all response type mostly uh, focuses on investigation and uh, initial treatment, targeting victims of all ages, and uh, system centers are currently operated in the middle. Middle child child type center is designed for uh, medical and uh, psychological treatment 
of children and uh, intellectually disabled. And, and uh, no justice is provided. And the, the, the last one. Integration model of those, all these services and uh, 13 centers are currently in operation. <coughs> The center is um, operated by multi-stakeholder cooperation. The centers are managed under, uh, under the collective agreement uh, by the Ministry of Gender, Equality and Family, the National Police Agency, uh, local governments, and hospitals. As you can see, uh, the centers consist of four, uh, four teams and uh, one of the administrative support teams. The centers are staffed with the police officers, officers and female officers, nurses, counselors, uh, psychotherapists, and other professionals in order to provide the victims with the specialized and systematic services. <coughs> the main targets of the center are victims of sexual violence, uh, domestic violence, prostitution, and their uh, families. Experts uh, working at the center provide 24 hour or 7 day service for victims free of charge. So victims uh, can avoid uh, visiting multiple different agencies for services. It is the only institution that provides all the services uh, such as collecting, collecting uh, forensic evidence, medical and psychological treatment and uh, investigative assistance. Especially uh, all emergency response system to uh, sexual offenses uh, is published in co collaboration with the police online, which, uh, which directly links sexual violence cases to a sample center. A nurse collects evidence uh, using emergency kits and the female police officer conducts an interview with the victims and helps arrest the offender. Additional support is available okay. if needed. For example, psychotherapy is done at a level charge. In addition, medical expenses such as uh, emergency treatment or abortion <coughs> induction are offered free of charge as well. So far, centers may also provide uh, legal assistance if needed and uh, <coughs> link the victim to the uh, appropriate agency for the backup support. The center has the, has the same facility uh, as you can as you can see on the slide. Uh, rooms are structured to provide a psychological stabilization for victims. Especially, the center has made an effort to create a child-friendly environment uh, by decorating uh, the room in bright, uh, bright colors for the victims of children. In addition, the victim, uh, the victim interview room is equipped with a video recording, a recording device. The victim's uh, statement, statements are basically recorded and uh, presented to the court as evidence in order to prevent the victim from suffering secondary damage uh, when repeating the same process uh, in the criminal investigation. Central centers uh, support about 27,000 victims in 2016, and among them, about 71% are victims of sexual violence. About 95% of sexual violence victims are females, and 5% uh, are well, males. When it comes to uh, when it comes to the support support content, counseling is the most common thing, followed by uh, medical support, investigation support, and uh, psychological support. <coughs> The center has uh, improved the process uh, for the treatment of sexual violence the victims that follows. First, the support center provides counseling, medical, 
and uh, it services for victims of uh, sexual violence in one location. At the Sofa Law Center, all services uh, are provided to victims in one visit, and uh, it reduces um, the mental and psychological burden of victims. Second, we have dealt a support system that puts victims' interest first. Continuous victim care as well as the uh, only consistent of victims recover. Third, the public awareness of the um, services provided by the center has increased. As a result, <coughs> most of the uh, sexual violence victims, about 80%, uh, are now served at uh, some of centers. Lastly, the collaborative services to victims have minimized the secondary victimization during medical examination and the criminal investigation process. Many of the relevant personnel uh, have been increasing awareness of the importance of systematic response to the center. Uh, the center, uh, the so center has made it easier for sexual violence victims to report the incidents and uh, it has provided the necessary services to the victims in one place. However, uh, the following factors still exist as obstacles of involving victims' interest. First, there is not enough budget uh, for operation of the center. Although legal ground law will make, uh, it costs a lot to maintain the center, so uh, a lot of centers are having a hard time in recruiting qualified personnel. Second, the center is com composed of professionals in various fields and, and conflicts sometimes arises uh, during the collaboration process. Because the teamwork is crucial in order to uh, provide the services if it's necessary to understand the role of the Finally, it is, it is also important to manage emotional exhaustion and the stress of staff as well as to support victims of sexual violence. Therefore, our psychological counseling services should be also provided for the staff and uh, sufficient restoration <coughs> issues. Sure. Okay, uh, this, this is a presentation I prepared today. Uh, I wish I wish to conclude uh, my presentation with the hope that uh, all victims of, of uh, uh, sexual violence uh, will recover from uh, their suffering. Thank you.